Joseph Paxton designed the Crystal Palace built in 1851 for the Great Exhibition in London. The building is notable not only for its grandeur, but because its modular design marked a vast turning point across industries in Western innovation. The length of a human forearm relative to the length of the hand approximates the phi ratio, and the distance from a person's feet to their belly button relative to the distance from their belly button to the top of the head also approximates phi, or 1.618. The first passenger elevator is found in the E.V. Hofwout Building of New York City. The five-story building has an elaborate cast iron facade. The hydraulic elevator by Otis, while unnecessary, was a likely point of intrigue to potential customers. Walter Netsch of Skidmore Owings and Merrill designed the Air Force Academy Chapel built in 1962 in Colorado Springs, Colorado. The building design incorporates the sharp verticality of a Gothic cathedral with the sleek aerodynamic shape of a jet fighter. Architects used to write notes and stylized hand letters on their drawings. They did this to ensure words on a drawing matched the character and clarity of the work and so that more than one person could work on that drawing using a specific stylized font. Trinity Church in Boston, completed in 1877, is one of architect H.H. H. Richardson's most well-known projects. The building features polychromy, a massive tower with turrets, elaborate carvings, and Richardson's signature Romanesque archways. Norman Foster designed Hearst Tower in New York. The skyscraper is built within and emerges from the existing facade of the original Hearst building. Foster also used the structural configuration called a diagrid in his 30 St. Mary Axe project in London. <laughs> 